Lords, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm de delighted to welcome you all here. And as chairman, together with the other trustees, whose good advice and common sense I much appreciate over the years, would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone concerned for all the hard work and dedication put into the successful restructuring of the new Haynes International Motor Museum. I would particularly like to thank Mark Haynes, Managing Director of the Museum, and Mike Penn, the Curator, and Chris Haynes and Mike Strode, and the rest of the team behind Haynes Developments Limited, who were the main contractors, and obviously with other local companies, have successfully completed this exciting project, which I will believe will make us one of the best international motor museums in the UK. It is now my great pleasure to invite the Honourable Ed Vasey, MP, who is Parliamentary Under Secretary of State for Culture, Communications and Creative Industries to kindly formally open the museum. Uh, well, thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to come here and take all the credit for everybody's hard work. Uh, you'll have spotted I'm the, I'm the politician. I'm speaking for, so I'll be brief, because a lot of you will want to get in and see this uh, magnificent museum. Really, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's made this happen. Uh, John Haynes, Mark Haynes, Chris Haynes, Michael as well, and everyone else uh, who's made this museum the stunning success it's been over the last 30 years and have put in the time, effort and money to make it the success it's going to be for the next 30 years and beyond. Uh, a lot of people have made the point that the government has done absolutely nothing to help this happen. Uh, we haven't given it a grant. It's all been John's own money, uh, earned by the sweat of his brow and his family. Uh, and as you can imagine, from the government's perspective, that's absolutely magnificent. <laughs> but what I would say, to be serious for one second, is that I think uh, you know, we, we, we strike a balance between government financing and relying on people as successful as John and his family uh, to support the arts. And I do regard, by the way, a motor museum as being very much part of the arts and part of our cultural environment. Because what happens here is you see a man's vision and passion uh, made reality, starting with 30 cars, now 300 cars, although it will be 299 because I'm going to take the Mustang at the end. <laughs> 300 cars, 100 motorcycles, it's absolutely incredible. And also what is done in terms of the local economy, providing jobs and opportunities, not just for people working in the museum, but also all the other businesses that will cater for the people who come and visit here or help maintain the museum, the conference events and so on. It's absolutely fantastic. So it was good to see Mark taking the opportunity to remind me as the minister the importance of gift aid in supporting, if you like, by the back door a museum like this, but the local MP David Heath is here uh, and also local councillors are here and I hope that every level of government, whether it's ministerial, local MP, local council, will get behind this museum and support you whenever you need something, whenever you've got a, a case to be made that we're here standing with you. Because what you've achieved here over the last 30 years is absolutely incredible. This building, I've had the chance to have a quick look round, I'm looking forward to a longer look round in a minute, is absolutely amazing. And it's a real privilege and an honour to be invited here to come and open it for you. Thank you so much. <laughs>